Hello, my name is Brian Kinney, and I'm a Striven ERP advisor, and welcome to our accounting lesson, where we will be discussing collections workflow. Topics today will include the collections process, notice management, collections workflow, sending, snoozing, and skipping notices, and managing notices. So with that, let's get started. Let's start off by configuring our collections process. To achieve this, click the Company tab and choose Settings from the drop-down. Once here, click Accounting, choose AR, and click Collection Workflow. This will bring you to the Collections process. And here, you can choose to name your process. By default, this is called Collections, but you can change the name here. You can also choose how many days you'd like to trigger the process when the invoice is overdue. Here you can choose 7 or any other numeric value you wish to reference the number of days in which your collections process begins. Down below that you have all your notices that will go out based on the days in which the invoice is overdue. This section lists all the notices that will go out to customer contacts when an invoice is overdue. Each notice can have its own trigger and the trigger is based off of the last notice sent. To manage a collection notice content, simply click on the name of the collection notice. This will initiate a pop-up in which you can configure the notice itself. You have many tools here which include editing the notice name, choosing how many days you want to wait after the last notice. Please keep in mind that if this is the first notice, you will not be able to change the numeric value in this field because there will not be a previous notice to trigger off of. You can also choose the type of notice that this is. Notice types include email, which means that the customer contact will receive an email, and that email will contain the content shown down in the body section, and also a reminder. And a reminder is an internal reminder to manage the collections workflow. You can also edit the subject of the email and the content of the email itself. When editing the content, you have multiple different format options, include bolding and underlining, managing your font information, such as the font type, size, and color. You can also indent, number, add hyperlinks and videos, but you also have merge fields, and merge fields will automatically populate information related to the customer. For instance here, if I click merge fields, I can add any account information, any contact information, and open balance information as well. Once I've updated the notice to my liking, I can click Save and Close, and this will bring me back to the notices list. If you would like to rearrange your notices, simply click the parallel lines and drag and drop. You'll notice the dotted lines serve as a preview of where this notice will land in your list of notices. If you'd like to deactivate a notice, simply click the trash can icon, and this will delete the notice from your list. Likewise, if you'd like to add a new notice, simply click the blue Add Notice button at the top of your list. This will initiate a pop-up in which you can enter the name of your notice, how many days you want to wait since the last notice was sent, and choose your type, whether it's a reminder or an email to email a customer content about their account status. Once you've configured your collection process to your liking, we're then ready to view the collections workflow. To achieve that, click the Customers tab and choose Collections underneath the Financial section. This will bring you to your collections workflow. And here we have several search filters to narrow down our list of collections. And if we click the blue down arrow, we can expand search filters as well. Search filters here include filtering for a customer, a notice, the notice type, whether it's email, or reminder, searching for days past due, searching for an account category or who the account is assigned to, as well as searching for a customer category. Once your filters are ready, simply click the search field and this will show any customers who have an open balance with your company. You also have several tools to manage your collections as well, which we'll talk about each in more detail. One tool is to manage the customer information and you can do so by clicking the customer name and this will bring you to the AR transactions list in a new tab. Here you can see all the AR transactions related to the customer, and these could include payments, invoices, credit memos, and more. You'll also see the open balance due, 
how many days past due they are, as well as what notice they're on. And this will be shown as a hyperlink with the notice name. And if you click the hyperlink, you'll be able to see the notice and edit any information related to the notice right from the workflow. You also have several other hyperlinks to manage information. For instance, the note last updated, if you click the not entered hyperlink, you'll be able to add a collection note. And this is an overall note about the customer's collections process. Once you've added your note, simply click Save and Close. Once you've added the note, the note will appear with three dots. And if you hover over the three dots, you'll be able to see the entire note very easily. The not entered will also change the date in which the note was added or modified. If no recipients are selected, simply click the not entered hyperlink. And here you can choose a contact from the dropdown to be targeted for collections. You can also see the last date in which a payment was made and set up a next call date. To do so, click the not entered hyperlink and choose when you'd like to follow up with the contact. Once you've selected a date from the calendar, click Save and Close, and you'll see the Not Entered hyperlink change to the date selected. Another helpful tool you have is the Collections Log. The Collections Log will allow users to track status as the collections workflow progresses. For instance, here, because we set a next call date, that was automatically captured in the AR log. And here, we can continue to track status of our progress. By clicking the Add button, the log note will be added below and it will be date and timestamp along with who entered the note. This way, if you have multiple people managing your collections workflow, they can see where the other left off. By clicking Close, you'll be brought back to the collections workflow and the collections log will update to when the last log entry was created. To manage your process, you can do so on an individual basis or en masse. To manage your process on an individual basis, you have several icons to the far right of each customer. The top icon is to send the notice that they're on. The icon down from that is to snooze the notice for later. The red X will allow you to skip the step they're on, and the recycle icon will allow you to reset the collection process for the customer. You can also manage collections for customers en masse by toggling the box to the far left of each customer. This will highlight each customer in green. And when you're ready, you can scroll down to the bottom and click Send Selected, Snooze Selected, or Skip Selected. By choosing Send Selected, each customer selected will receive the collection notice that they're on. By choosing Snooze, this will snooze the notice for later. And by clicking Skip, you'll be able to skip until the customer reaches the next step in their collections workflow. You can also manage collections on an individual customer basis as well. To demonstrate this, go to the Customers list by clicking the Customers tab and List from the drop-down. Here we can click into a customer, click Go To, and choose AR. Then simply click the sub-tab Collections. Here we'll have several tools to manage the customer's collections. One tool is to view the AR log to view any notes entered with our collections workflow. We can also view the collections log to see any notices that were sent. We'll be able to send the notice that they're on as well by clicking the send notice icon or reset the collections for them. If this customer is exempt from collections, we can toggle that box on. If they're exempt from finance charges, we can also toggle that box on and click save and close or save to save the changes we make here. So that was a look at how to create and manage your collections process, as well as manage your company's collections workflow and manage customers' collections process as well in Striven.